Hello there, this is Talk on 3D with an extremely long tutorial on how to match motions that have different root node rotations. A good example here would be Chalk here climbing onto a bed. Notice as I load the motion, he instantly flips around. And then from this motion, let's say I want to go to a lie to lie motion where he shifts his body weight and uh, he lies towards the side. Now, look what happens. He instantly flips and goes down all the way to the floor. Now, you could try to align these motions. However, you will notice that because the, the original orientation of the motions started off in different places, no matter even if you try to select this clip and for example align it to let's say the root, sure it shifted it upwards but he's still rotating 90 degrees right there. Okay, so let's undo that and bring the, mo bring the motion again. He snaps back there. Okay, we'll stop it right there. We're going to select it again. And okay, let's try to align it with the head. Right? Notice that even though the heads are aligned, look at the body, how it pivots on the head, using the head as a pivoting point. So, this does not fix our situation. So how can we fix this? Well, what you can do is reorient, reorient this motion right here so that it matches the orientation of the end part of this motion here. So let's go ahead and remove this clip over here. We're going to take it all the way to the beginning now, like so. And um, actually, let's not forget, let's start with the new project here so that, because right now, uh, we have some orientation uh, matching that residual that we don't want. So let's go ahead and uh, bring Chuck again. We want we want to make sure that Chuck is at the root of the world, which is zero zero coordinates right here. Notice here uh, the distances here, zero zero zero. That's where we want him. Next, we want to load the motion that we want to realign. So I'm going to go ahead and select that lie 01 to lie 02. Let's see. Nope. It was it this one. All right. So next, I'm going to select the motion. Actually, we don't even have to do that right now. All we're going to do is go to props. We're going to go to the beginning of the motion. And I'm going to load a cube. I'm going to select Chuck, I'm going to say link to, and we're going to link it to the cube. Now I'm going to select the cube and rotate them 90 degrees this way, because this is the way that the first motion, the climb to bed motion was ending up to. So the head was over here and the feet were on this side, so that's what we want. So now we select Chuck again, and we're going to unlink that. By doing this, we created a keyframe in the constraints right here. You can see it right here. I'm going to zoom all the way in. There we go. And let me move the slider so you can see it. See, right here, they created one keyframe. And that keyframe makes a whole a world of difference because just now, you just told Icon, OK, I want my whole motion to be reoriented now. The next step we're going to take is we're going to do the collect clip. So we're going to select this and we are going to make sure we have the whole clip with the linking function selected under Collect Clip. Now I'm going to right click on the Collect Clip track, Add Motion, and I already had this, I'm just going to write over this one, that's fine with me. So I just rewrote that, okay, I just all right, so we uh, we have the motion reoriented. Now I'm going to go ahead and just 
I'm going to delete this motion and I'm going to delete the linking so now he's facing forward and I'm going to delete this cube because we don't need it so now we select chalk and now we're going to go climb to bed let it go all the way to the end of the motion and now we're going to go to our custom folder reload the motion that we had reoriented now look at him where he's landing this is fine because now all we have to do here is open up the track select the clip now go align to root or to head whichever you prefer it doesn't matter it will do just fine either way and now he will continue his motion from one pose to the other and that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed it and see you at the forums.